and welcome to my holiday special doll repaint video. And today we are in a quite unusual place. We are in Italy, on the beautiful island of Sardinia, in a city that is called Alighiero, where I'm actually on holidays. But of course I'm not a normal person, I couldn't just take a couple of bikinis and a suitcase and leave on holidays. No, with me it wouldn't work. I have of course prepared a special doll to take her with me and to take pictures of her here on the beach that is right behind my back. But this all will happen in the end of this video when the doll is ready and right now we are going to move two weeks earlier, move on time and a little bit moving in space, 1005 kilometers far from here back to my creative studio in Belgium and let's see how I have made this doll and I will see you later in the end of this video, enjoy! <laughs> So the lucky doll who will go with me this time is such a Gulia Yelps Monster High doll. And I really love the face mold of the doll with all these high cheekbones and deeper eyes. And I'm going to prepare this doll for customizing like always. And first I'm removing her clothes, then I cut her hair as short as I can. And then I take my hair dryer, blow for 2 minutes with hot air. And then I can take doll's hat very easily off. the rest of the hair from the inside of the head. And then I remove her old face with pure acetone. head is completely clean and I'm going to prepare her body as well. I first sand it to remove the gloss from the surface, then I clean it with an acetone free nail polish remover and then I spray both the body and the head with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. When all the layers of the sealant are dry, I start working on the color of her skin. Now she is grey with a very light bluish subtone, so first I'm going to apply a layer of gold ochre pastels, then a layer of pink, and then a layer of very light nude pink pastels. Now you can see how the blushed face looks next to the unblushed body. So let's blush it as well following the same steps I took already to color her hair. I need first to place her eyes and eyebrows and for this I use like always my Faber-Castell Albrecht Durer watercolor pencils and also Rembrandt soft pastels for sketching the eyebrows.
The easiest way for me to make the eyebrows is to draw first a lot of them with pastels and then just to remove everything that I don't need with a sharp piece of an eraser. finally contouring that will help me to make her face more realistic and alive. And first I'm applying a layer of light Indian red pastels. Put more tomb pastels. to the darkest places of the face. some pink blushers to her cheeks. And now let's do exactly the same to her body. Now I think I'm happy about those new skin color and I can finally take my pencils and start drawing her face. And first I'm working on the white of her eyes, immediately applying gray shadows to them. I want to give her blue-green eyes, like the color of seawater or something, and I 
start with blocking them with a dark green pencil. Then I also start working on the waterline of the eyes. The second eye I have made of course exactly the same like the first one and now I'm adding hair to her eyebrows with a light brown pencil. to give her very juicy lips and for this I will use a pink pencil. Now I'm going to work more detailed on her eyelids and the eye creases. With a very light pencil, I draw the highlights around her eyes. Then I start working more detailed on the irises. set highlights to her lips and to the most highlighted spots on the face.
makeover. So I want to add some glow to her face and for this I'm using bronze pastels from the brand Pan Pastel. And I also add a touch of it to her body. I think I still want to add some more pink blush to her cheeks. With a very sharp black pencil, I draw the bottom eyelashes, the eye lines and some tiny details and shadows. I take white acrylic paint and I draw some reflections in her eyes. Now it's her hair. I think such a very natural looking dark blonde will fit her just amazing, so I'm making a wig for her using the hot glue technique like always. Applying the false lashes, adding glassy varnish to her eyes and lips, and of course I'm signing my work. Again, my mom to make an outfit for her, then I can concentrate more on the accessories. So let's go! And first of all, I'm gonna take such a flotation ring and color it with a couple of layers of white acrylic paint, and then to add some red sections on it. And by the way, it's quite a special ring because it used to belong to my very first doll. It wasn't a real Barbie, her name was Martina, I think. 
and she had some basic beach stuff with her. Some months ago I've suddenly had found it all and today it's time to give it to the new owner. Now let's take a couple of popsicle sticks and make a beach chair for her. In total I will need 6 sticks, 2 of 15 cm, 2 of 10 cm and 2 of 5 cm. And in the longest 4 sticks I make holes on the both sides. And in the shortest 2 sticks I make holes just on one side. some tacky glue and attach barbecue sticks into the holes in the popsicle sticks, making some sort of frames. The middle size frame and the smallest one should be a little bit wider than the biggest frame. When the glue becomes dry, I cover all the details with a couple of layers of white acrylic paint. Now let's put all the details of the chair together and fix them with pins. Then I'm cutting a piece of striped fabric that is a little bit longer than the biggest frame. Then I glue it to the chair, fix it with clippers and I let it dry.
the chair is drying, let's to make a pair of summer shoes for her. For this I'm cutting everything off the factory quality shoes, keeping just the soles. And then I attach a couple of straps of satin ribbon into them. Attaching tiny red insoles and I cover the soles with a red nail polish. My mom got so excited making the beach outfit for the doll that she has also made such an adorable beach umbrella. And now I just need to color it. It wasn't the last detail yet, I still want to make a trendy red cape for her using light filters from our theater. And now I'm for sure done with all the accessories, so let's put everything together. Here is an outfit created by my mom and all the accessories that we've just made together with you. Oh, and here are still more surprises from my mom. An adorable beach bag and a beach towel. I think she's definitely ready to go on holidays. So, 
let's transport her to Sardinia for a special photo shoot. And this was my holiday special doll and holiday special doll repaint video. And for me it was really fun working on this doll and all her accessories and then transporting her and protecting her on the beach while taking pictures from all the sand and water and whatever, wind, kids playing football. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video as well. And if so, please don't forget to put your likes under this video and of course subscribe my channel because you see I post new doll repaint every week Friday even when I'm on holidays and I will see you already very soon next week Friday I will be back to my studio and I will show you the new doll I repainted especially for you so see you very soon love you guys bye